Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This week's plan with me is a free printable kit from my lovely planner. I'll leave her link down in the description box. You can hop on over to her website. She's got lots of different designs and you can just download them for free and then print them out and use them in your planner. I did this a while ago, it was last year I think I started it, where I would use a free printable kit once a month for you guys to discover some new kits or to show you guys that there are free kits out there for you to use. I'm also pulling in these rolls of washi. The thinner ones, I believe, are the Mambi. I'm sure they are, the Mambi thin washi rolls. And the other one, I believe I bought from either Wilco's or Tiger. It was like in a multi-pack. So I'm going to be using those down at the bottom. I'm still not used to how wide the space is at the bottom. It just seems like a lot of space down there. So that's why I've pulled in three different rolls. It's also incredibly windy today. I'm not sure if my microphone is going to pick that up, but it's it's really windy out there. We have a storm at the moment. Cara, Kiara, I can't remember what it's called, but there's a storm. So I'm starting off um, day by day. So on Monday I put down a sticker from the reading sheet as my daughter's got some exams and this sticker book here is from Mambi. I'll leave the link down below to the one that I'm using and it has these long thin strips with different time codes on them. Originally I thought they were kind of individual stickers and I was trying for ages just to pick up the 930 sticker and then I realized oh it's in a a long line so I just cut out the time that I needed to mark down for her exam. I used a foiled to-do box which I believe is from Philo Fabulous and a pop it from the laptop sheet as I had some emails to do and then to bring in some more of the gold these are from Philo Fabulous as well and they're just foiled date dots. I know they kind of look ridiculous here because they're so tiny. I think these are really for the monthly view. Those are like the little corner date dots that you can put down. But I just wanted to, to kind of spread some gold around. I don't know, but that's what happened. I'm using my first full box here. I did stick it down a bit crooked, but there was no way that was going to peel up again. So we're just having a wonky Monday and that's fine. We have wonky days. And then underneath there, I've put down one of the puppets from the Happy Mail sheet and just wrote down that I needed to post some orders because like I was saying last week, because I was ill, my children were ill, I was kind of running a bit behind. So um, definitely had to go and post some orders on Monday. And then I wanted to finish editing this plan with me on Monday night. And then moving on to Tuesday, my daughter has got another exam. So I took another pop-it book from the reading sheet and just wrote down exam. She has an English exam. And again, I'm going to bring it in the Mambi sticker book to find one of the time stickers and just trim it with my scissors. And I'm trying to match the color of the book, of the pop-it book with the color of the time. It's the little details, you know, they, they just make me happy. <laughs> And then underneath there, I took a silhouette cutting machine. I'm trying to think where this is from. It's from Planning Roses. And then underneath there, I've put a half box. And on top of that, I'm going to be sticking a gold foiled label sticker, which is from The Giving Girl. And then I'm just flipping through the Mambi book, just trying to find another little icon to put there. And this is just to mark down that I wanted to pack orders. So I've been printing and cutting the orders and then I want to pack them all up. And I'm also just going to write plus 45F, which I know you guys aren't going to understand what that is, but it's just um, a code that I need to remember. So it's 45 stickers from code F. I don't know why I just explained that to you. You still don't understand. Anyway, moving on, I'm going to put another full box down at the bottom. And then I'm going to use another of the foiled to-do boxes. And that's just to run to the post office. I'm going to try and get everything done and make to the post office before they close. And I'm just going to use another Happy Mail poppet down there. Also, with my poppet sheets, I normally have sort of three or four different varieties of a said situation, like for the Happy Mail. Because I, when I use them myself, I don't like using the same poppet on days next to each other and for me I use the happy mail poppets a lot because I mark them for my work or I mark them when I'm going to have deliveries due and I just like to have a variety to choose from so they're not the same but if you guys really like one certain design you can always message me on Etsy and say hey I really like these happy mail poppets can you just do the one sheet of envelopes and I'll try and customize it for you. I've had people do that in the past. Um, for example, the pajama sheet that I have, they really liked the little tiny gray onesie and they just asked for a sheet of that. And I'm always happy to kind of customize poppets for you. 
because I just like having a variety but that doesn't mean everybody does some people like them to be the same so just let me know just message me on Etsy and I'll try and get that done for you so on Wednesday my daughter has another exam I'm going to be doing some designing and then I'm going to be nipping up to B&M to stock up on cleaning products and um, organizing sit well, I'm trying to get some inspiration to do some organizing so the best place for me to go is somewhere where I can walk around and kind of actually pick things up and feel them and then right at the bottom there I was just showing you the difference between the size of my tiny puppets and my normal puppets so I used a tiny puppet to mark down that I need to do laundry as I've got a new washing machine now thank god but I've got a lot to catch up on so I've used the little oh my god puppet like it's not going to be a good day then here I'm just going to be putting down my full boxes. I kind of understand now why people will start off putting all of their full boxes down. I never really got it before but so many times I've either missed putting a full box down or I've put a full box down and then haven't had any other room to put in a plan. So here I'm just sticking them down so I know A I've got them down and B how much room I've got left to put down my plans. But I did forget to zoom back in, sorry about that. So for Thursday I've got a bill due so I just put that down at the top. I then put down a half box and a little meh pop it head down from the feeling sheet as I need to write an organised list. I've got so many little areas in my house that have just become very unorganised and it's kind of got to the point where it's a little bit overwhelming when you think about everything. So I just want to kind of come up with a list. I'm just going to pick three areas and write them down where I've put down the priority sticker and they're the three areas that I'm going to focus on because I think if I break it down it's not going to be as overwhelming so that's why I wanted to go to B&M as well just to have a look around see what's out there in the organizing section and yeah give myself some inspiration then moving on to Friday it's Valentine's Day and I used one of my washi strips that I created last year actually for Valentine's Day and then underneath there I've just put the couple poppets and a TV poppet down as we're going to be staying in and we're just going to be watching Netflix and grab a takeaway we've been watching I can't pronounce it but it's it's something like Absentina I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it although thinking about it I don't think it's on Netflix I think it's on Prime or now TV see we have all three and I get confused but we've been watching something called Absentina so I'm sure we'll be binge watching pretty much the rest of it on the Friday and then for Saturday it's my cousin's birthday and I also want to put up a new release which I marked with another pop it head from the feeling sheet as I forgot to put a new release up at the weekend I'm really sorry um, but I've got a couple of different options that I want to release or that are ready to be released um, I can either put up another mini a la carte kit which is based on mountains or I can put up some little house icons that I have doodled I'm not sure which to do but let me know down below which one you think I should put up on Saturday and that will be which one I put up so even if one person comments down below that's that's what's going up <laughs> so moving on to Sunday or well, Saturday I was going to be updating my bullet journal and doing my food shop which meant on Sunday I would have my food delivery so I've put that down and also my pre-written checklist which I'm thinking about updating just because my style of writing has changed and then um, I just put down for my children to do some homework and then moving on to the sidebar which is where I remembered oh I haven't zoomed in yet so we're zoomed in for the sidebar Um, I just put a full box right at the top I put my two habit trackers down and as there wasn't a next week header or box I just created my own by using one of the foiled labels and then covering up the to do with a heart checklist and then writing next week on it and then at the bottom there was that box where it says weekly expenses but I'm way too scared to use something like that because then I'd physically know how much money I go through so I decided to put down work hours and just track the hours that I spend on uh, my Etsy shop which will be interesting um, but that was it for the sidebar and here is everything that I have got left like I said I'll leave her website link down below so you guys can go and check out her website she's got loads of things on there hope you guys have enjoyed this week's video if you did then make sure you give me a thumbs up and I will speak to you all next time to become a part of our public family all you have to do is subscribe to my channel if you want to be notified for my uploads then just hit the bell icon thank you so much for watching bye bye